Hey everyone, I'm Tassinix. Welcome to uh, Season 53, 5 vs. 5 Grand Arena Championship, Week 3, Round 2, for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Sorry, I just literally just ran in here, getting my daughter squared away before uh, stream started. Hey TJ, what's going on? Alright, our opponent is Quasar69, the Resilient, who I'm sure is a perfectly decent fellow. Nonetheless, joined to uh, the degenerate, low-down, untrustworthy, uh, thieving, underhanded, Caw Alliance, a.k.a. Caw Patrol, any flavor of Caw. I'm sure Quasar's a nice guy, though. All right. Sheepdog, good morning on this windy, rainy day. Indeed, it is. It is. Overcast, rainy, a little cold for my taste. All right, let's go ahead and get the comparison on screen. I was literally running around before I sat down. Oh, I gotta re-download that now, because I cleared out my downloads folder. Okay, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Give me just a sec, guys, I'll get this on screen. There we go. Okay. All right, let's put this up. So guys, I have the Swaga PC client, the beta, but it's not quite good enough yet to stream with. First of all, the colors come through all faded on stream. And um, yeah, there's also the fact that anytime you're clicking from one monitor to the next, it's effectively pausing the screen just as it would uh, just as it would if you're playing on the phone and then you switch the app to something else and it pauses it like that like it won't continue that's annoying like I can I like that I could put it on auto and look at my other monitor so until they have little kinks like that worked out I'll probably continue to play it like off stream for my own personal play but streaming I'm just gonna use blue stacks until we're in the box all right, so let's go ahead and look this over. Uh, I'm rank 42, fighting rank 47. GP-wise, 14.4 million to his 13.9. Top 80 GP, 3.13 million to his 3.09 million. Um, Zeta's 349 to his 344. GAC Omicrons, my 56 to his 51. Top 80 average speed. Oh, shit. You guys, you almost let me get into all this without giving you the prediction. We got to get in where you fit in, because there ain't going to be a lot of these this season. Not a lot of legitimate matches this season. All right. Go ahead and get that rolling. Get your votes in. I'll close it off when we're done with the review here. All right. Top 80 average speed. My 163 to his 155. That's nice. It's a nice little advantage. All right. Mod analysis. Plus 25s. My 206 to his 166. 20 to 24s, my 451 to his 395. Plus 20s, my 657 to his 561. Nice. Plus 4 percents, I have... Wait, why is this not updated yet? Hold on. My Twitch tab on my browser wasn't reporting. There it is. There it is. All right. Uh, Sinister Lath. Resubscribe for four months. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Thanks a lot. All right. Uh, yeah, so plus 4% offenses. I have 165 to his 87. And plus 6% offenses, I have 53 to his 23. So we've got some great mod depth on him. That's nice. Relic analysis. Total levels, my 2126 to his 1960. Relic nines, my 94 to his 69. All right. All right, that's where it really starts to break down. All right, Relic 8's, my 132 to his 111. Relic 7's, my 28 to his 52. Okay, so we've converted a lot more of my 7's to 8 and 9. Datacron analysis, total rerolls, my 316 to his 575. This man went hardcore on it, all right? Um, level 9's, I have 54 to his 44, so he just has way better optimized crap than I do, holy crap. Six to eights, I have two, he has three. And then three to fives, I have three, he has two. Hey, Striker, what's going on? Ah, man, 
this is going to be good. Do we know the result of Zid versus Sasha? Uh, no. No. Be nice to know, though. Uh, they're both probably going to wait till later. That's both of their style. Because neither of them stream, so... Both of them would, would give way to the other if they're if either of them were streamers. But uh, since neither of them is, they both prefer to go later. So I wouldn't be surprised if nobody's fired the first shot yet. All right. Um, GL comparisons. Let's see what he's got here. A little bit more offense on his slacker. Okay. Very high prot JML, low speed. That's all right. Very, I mean, there's not a ton of matchups where... A lot of speed matters. Okay, big bulky Lord Vader. Ba, 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 ba. All right, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Key characters. Wow. It's a pretty nice gas he's got. All right, I respect you, dude. Yep. Good speeds, all of it. Yeah, yeah, no notes. Wow. Yeah, he's had to. Rob a little less from his Star Killer than I have. That's probably something I should look at. I did enjoy having him about 11.5k offense, so that is uh, that is a worthy consideration. Hmm. All right. Um, important ships were just squared up on that, so nothing really to talk about. Let's go ahead and do the Omega Bot review. Okay, so this is pulled just for this season. Here we can see that looks like he's a European. Looks like he likes to attack. Uh, in his morning, in Europe time. Wrap up in the afternoon if he has to. Something like that. Alright, mod comparison wise, we can see I'm the green line. I'm generally just a little bit above him the whole way through. So, let's hope that, you know, materializes into something that matters. Um, GAC Omicron comparison. Not a ton that matters. Darth Talon's a nice one. Okay, not a lot of difference. Squad banner efficiency. Yeah, so this guy likes to make a mess. Um, he sets a fairly robust defense, so we'll go into the details about it. But yeah, man, man doesn't mind a, a good sweat. Now, if you leave yourself exposed such that he can pick up a 68-69, he, he's not going to be unaware of it, so fair to him. Most of his attacks being 65, um, and then, you know, over 60 in general. But we can see a good handful of 50-ish clears, and now we're talking about 40-ish clears in 30s and 20s, all right? Um, well, that's mostly his opponents, actually, sweating it out against him. Like I said, his defense is fairly robust. So let's take a look at that. All right, last couple of weeks, it's been GG Stapp, Trenchwatt, Kelleran Beck, Leia, Ray Swallow. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Ray Swallow with Krex, yep, Saw Gerrera, Gas, Afra, Jabba, Lord Vader, BKM, sometimes DTMG. A little bit of mix into it. Lord Vader Maul, he's set very, very seldom. Leviathan, Radis, and Malevolence. Interesting split, but that's what he likes to set on defense. So he saves Executor and Profundity both for attack. Nice. Defenses by zone. We might expect to see bottom front, Gas, Leia, and then an odd mix. Maybe Lord Vader, maybe Saw, maybe DTMG. He tries to mix that up a bit. I think that might be more about who he's fighting, where he thinks he can get a little advantage from rearranging it, because the rest of this stays pretty firm. All right, attack-wise, Slacker, Bane, Reva, C, Malgus, JMK Cat, Treya, Starkiller, Seer Malikos, CLS, JML, Sidious, and sometimes like BKM, DTMG. Okay, saves quite a bit. So really then, looking back at that, uh, what? Ba -ba -ba. Like four GLs. Four GLs is pretty good for this meta, if I'm being honest. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come down on him too hard for that. Oh, um, it's good. Uh, are you feeling like more coffee? I could. Tommy. I, I would like some. Sure. Thanks. You're welcome. Sorry. 
not even started yet. <laughs> Just starting. Just starting. Now. Well, good luck with the Star Wars, I guess. Yes, thank you. All right, Executor, Profundity, Chimera, he likes for attack. Yeah, no surprise, occasionally Negotiator, I see. All right, what did he face the last couple weeks that might have given him some trouble? JMK Cat, Agast Crex, Qui-Gon. Mm-hmm. All right, that about covers it. Um, let's see where you guys are at. We'll give it another. Tw uh, give it until it says two minutes on the clock, so another 20-ish seconds, and then we'll uh, close out the votes. Vote. Choose your destiny. Do you have faith in the system? Or do you think I, it's time for me to meet my fate? Hmm. All right. Ending submissions. All right. We'll see how it turns out in the end. Let's move this back on over. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, what the hell is that name? Why doesn't it say? Oh, I hate it when it does this. Yeah, MJ. Yeah, yeah, man. I hear you. That's funny. Yeah, Qua where's my Quasar? Man. Uh, man. It's like you're trying to kill stuff. You're just trying to kill stuff, and people just out there taking your Quasar. It's shameless. All right, let's talk about the defense, shall we? Let's have a little fun. All right. The status so far is a 1428. Let's begin. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Y'all y'all know I got... Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Y'all know I got my, my score sheet. Okay. So, against Trench up front, uh, a 64. All right, against Gas, Rex, Crex, uh, Echo, 5. So... I know that he likes to do Star Killer for this. This is really his go-to. He's been sticking to his gun very much on this. So I looked into this counter uh, and I saw the data on GG that where it was like a 70 or 75 pushing up on 80% win rate, but where it lost, it lost with a set 14 Jedi Cron that had offense and protection in general but it, but more protection than offense. You might think that you'd want the offense, but it, it's really not, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Giving high protection to gas means that you're delaying that first sit and the vulnerability of the rest of the 501st clones that much longer. Um, and I guess Krex as well. But the the protection is what was costing people and i think if he used star killer on this we we got him we got him boys exactly as intended so he took out everybody but gas and echo on the first pull and then cleaned it up for 32 total of 35. um wow 35. well hold on yeah it could have been a 45. Wow, he lost a lot just fighting it with the two then. Wow. Nice. Heavy tax. All right. Uh, I could add up the banners for efficiency's purpose, but you'll see it, it, it. Unless we have a very tough time, I hopefully won't need to. Leia, Drogon, R2, Old Ben, Mon Mothma, 65. This is almost certainly Bane. Gungans, set my Gungans down. Got them in, in style, you know. Uh, thanks to all you guys participating on the recent hype trains. Uh, especially Nomads, who uh, has really been crushing it here. And yeah, we got Gungans. And for all that, 62. We'll take it. Better than nothing. All right, we'll cover the back in a moment. Let's, let's clear the rest of, the, of this board first. All right, against Qui-Gon, um, JK, Cam, Kelleran, and Mace. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, this is where I kind of lost track because he knocked out, uh, knocked out a whole bunch of stuff while I was handling some behind-the-scenes stuff. 
somewhere between a 62 and a 65, something like that. Um, Afra was very, very challenging for him. He put in four attempts, killing nobody, and in the end, taking it out for 25. So he ended up overkilling it. Um, but this is definitely the strongest performance of Afra on defense the entire season. So hats, you know, hats off to you, Afra. You did it for me. Uh, we'll, we'll take it. Against Savage, mm, probably like a 64. That's what I'm guessing he did. Against Saw, he had to two-shot that. Um, what was that? Looks like that was a 45 in the end. So he got nobody on the first go and then got it all on the end. Uh, you know, on the second go for full banners. All right. Let's talk about Fleet. All right, so he had a drop on Executor. And what's worse, the one uh, he took out IG, and then that's it. And it was Hound's Tooth that I think came out first. To think about that. I think so. Something like that. It, it, was, it was fun, though. It was a good, it was a good fight. Uh, he cleaned it up for 45. Total of 48 is what that looks like. Malevolence is good banners, 70-something, I think. And then he got a 71 using what I think is Chimera against this, so he just crushed that. That's unfortunate, but yeah. All right, let's talk about bottom. So the idea here was Leia has been in the back for me all this season. Um, people are saving Bane for Leia. They just don't want to deal with it otherwise, mostly. And he's not an exception to that rule. So lay up front, draw the Bane, and then how does he prefer to take on Rey? Um, turns out he's one of the Seer folks, likes to do Seer. And Seer happens to have a problem with this particular composition. And also this Datacron. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can I can I show you some recent work I've done? <laughs> uh, just just a reminder, Ray's been modded for more offense now. She's still up over two hundred thousand with the Crom, but just about two hundred thousand. Five ten speed, and then yeah. So I want to say thirteen five thirteen three something like that. Uh, offense, I don't know. Without the Crom, and now. Her neighbor, her friend. Yeah, yeah, TJ. Yeah, yeah, both you and Dagger had been speaking on this, and I this feel that that felt to me like a week trick, uh, week three trick to pull on somebody if I was going to do it. You know, not not claiming I invented it, but I uh, I recently put Ben Solo into a crit damage triangle, and this is something that um, I think Brock. Uh, put me on to so you know shout out to Brock Thudsteel about this but I saw him and a few other players in the top end having a crit damage triangle and I'm sitting here thinking it's like why would you have a crit damage triangle on a character that uh, has such low special crit chance right he's 47 percent by the way <laughs> just casually 20 uh, just about you know 24,000 uh, special offense with this crit damage triangle but the reason it works is um, his mastery actually gains crit chance let me see uh, yeah mastery increases accuracy crit chance and damage so crit chance and damage that's so good uh, and Ray's leadership hands out flat mastery at the start of battle and then you're stacking mastery through inspiration over the course of the fight so not not flat mastery, percent mastery, whatever. But then you're gaining 5%, 5%, blah, 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 blah. So you're literally stacking the means to more consistently crit throughout the fight. I, I really love that. Uh, kept Resistance Hero Finn pretty much the way I have last few seasons. Nothing, nothing new there. Very fast. Um, lots of special offense and enough crit chance to, to be critting. And then uh, Poe's gotten a real tune-up. He's even better than he used to be. Um, he'll be better for the next season than he is right now, but he's about that fast with, again, lots of special offense and special crit chance. So just lighting up all of the, uh, turn meter gains 
and then a big old Relic 9 Holdo, just to be big and slow and sitting under her own protection up as long as possible, just living under it. It's good stuff. He has so much true damage, which can't crit. Um, yes, but he's gaining offense anyway. He's gaining offense anyway. He's gaining offense and crit chance through mastery gain over the course of the fight. Um, like, I run, I think a lot of us, most of us, have probably run an offense triangle on her uh, on uh, Ben Solo since Inception. And I'm able to have him something like 19,250 special offense at start a battle. But the longer the fight goes, uh, the better the crit chance is. The better the crit, you know, you're gaining offense and crit chance anyway. Why not have the crit damage triangle to most fully utilize that? And by the way, I, I jumped into... Um, what was it? I jumped into like a galactic challenge the other day to test it. And you would, uh, I, I don't really pay attention to it because I'm mostly using that team on defense. So anytime I'm using it on offense, I would not even think to look. But you would be surprised how quickly he's ramping mastery because I saw how quickly he started consistently critically striking. So I'm not saying it's something you got to overall your whole roster to try, but I saw the reasoning for it. It it made sense. When I play tested it, I was pretty impressed with how quickly I seemed to stack crit chance. So, uh, anyway, I'm just telling you what the recipe is. You take however much or however little of it you like. All right, against JMK, which I have not set on defense in seasons. JMK, Cap, Kit Fisto, Ahsoka, and GK with the kick crown. Ben doesn't decide to fight 15 rounds in, IMO. Well... You're, you're thinking about a certain number of turns that has to go by for him, but that's not how the mastery stack happens for him, right? It's while he's inspired and enemies are gaining turn meter, which happens enough of the time. Especially if you're of the mind to uh, use a team that generates bonus turn meter, like, say, I don't know, Seer for your preferred ray count. You see, you see the idea there? Like, I'm just further leaning into it. Uh, and, and again... I really encourage you to playtest and see how quickly he stacks that. Because remember, he's getting a 40% increase of mastery, so damage and crit chance off rip, and then it starts to go up from there. It's I think it's worth the trouble. But I don't think offense is a bad way to go either. Uh, I agree. You you respectfully disagree. I think uh, I think it's a really high end thing to do. Uh, I don't, I don't think, uh, like I said, for years and years I ran the offense primary, so I think, uh, it's not a bad way to go. Yeah, EG 18k base special offense is very good, uh, place to be for each time he hits, it has a major impact. Absolutely, and it's a, it's a real, it's a conversation about stretch goals, guys, because, because, like I said, like I'm over 18k with the crit damage triangle, and I'd be over 19k. Um, with the offense triangle, but you're you're stacking offense and crit damage or crit chance anyway. So I, I just uh, I'm I'm gonna see how much I like it, guys. But so far so so okay. Uh, and then last but not least, Jabba, Kersantin, Bausch, Boba, and Embo. Um, yeah, doubt did its job. I'm thinking JMK is what he took in here because uh, it was only Bausch that was dead off rip. And yeah, then then he ended up tearing it apart in a couple different pieces before finally taking it out. What was it? Um, ba, 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 ba. One, one plus zero plus twenty nine, so a total of thirty. So that was a that was a good rough run. So I think I think he's done, guys, because there isn't a lot that deals with this, and I'm I'm pretty sure that it's a clear to win, which is exceedingly rare. Uh, now, as usual, we can't play it like we've like we can be so cavalier. We've actually lost matches that way. So, that being said, situation looks encouraging. Um, he does true damage, but please look at each move he's doing utilizing the special offense that can actually determine a fight. Uh, yeah, I I think from a purely ramping uh, offense point of view. There, I don't think there's a mathematically sound answer to, to argue against an offense primary. Um, but as far as a greater throughput of damage for the character 
over the course of the fight. I I I wanna I want to believe, and I'm willing to take the plunge for you guys. I really am. It's I know it's a stretch goal thing to start with, and that's the only reason I did it. All right, top side, uh, Gungans. He's got the triple Omicron. We'll look at the Cron in detail, but he, that looks like a, a prod up set 13. Fine choice. Trench, Django, Dooku, Newt, and Watt with what is undoubtedly a Dao Cron. Kellerin, JKA, Grandmaster, Cam, and Mace. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. All right. Um, GG, B1, B2, Magna, and Step. Wow, Relic 9 Step. I got to take a look at this. This is actually probably really good. What do you got? Whoo, this will be a bitch. 376, good damage triangle, over 100% potency, 10,400 offense. That's nasty bit of business. Um, yeah, my bet, Overcast is saying, my Ben is there at 18k, but I don't see crit damage stopping anything more. Um... The AoE he does is really what I'm super invested in with it. Like, you know, what uh, when I fought, like, S Sasha recently, this was back when I still had the offense primary, and he was talking about a big kapow he got from Ben when Ben finally got that magical turn. And like I said, my, my own playtesting showed that I wasn't paying attention to how he actually, you know, how quickly he is consistently able to critically strike. But the true damage, I grant you, um, you know, crit, crit, uh, critical strikes don't do anything. Well, do they? Wouldn't critical strikes help? Because, I mean, somebody who's more knowledgeable about the internal math of the game can probably correct me on this. But I would think that if a critical, if a, if a strike that doesn't crit produces an offense of X, and then you have a critical strike that produces an effective offense of X times 1.42, whatever it is. Let's just say it's a crit damage triangle. Uh, does that not necessarily result in a higher number that results in a higher throughput of true damage based on that? Because uh, if not, then yes, from maximizing a true damage point of view, an offense primary is the way. But from a kapow point of view, crit damage triangle. It doesn't help true damage at all, is what Overcasted is saying. Crit, da uh, crit damage doesn't have any any bearing on it. Okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know enough to say different. But you see what I'm in on. The The idea is that AoE, critically striking, that's that's a game ender. Uh, again, again, I'm already in a set that's over 18k special offense with the triangle. So don't try this at home if you don't have something really cracked out to play with to try it. But uh, I can't see how it, how it uh, could be worse. Because I actually stacked up more offense on him now than what he had before. Um, like, the last couple of years, I've been running him somewhere 16k, 17k, something like that. So even just going up to 18 was enough. But anyways. Yeah. I, I, can, I can see it about the... I'm not arguing about the offense triangle. I mean, uh, being good for maxing out true damage. All right, next wall. AoE doesn't crit, though. The AoE part of the move is true damage. Um, okay. Wait, let's let's see. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Mm, where are you at, my boy? All right, so again, just seeing him as a character, right? So this is him, basically 19K special offense, all everything else aside, right? So we really, it's it for this particular modded character, it's probably not worth arguing for this one guy's case, but let's take a look at Family Legacy. Special damage, blah, 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 blah. So this part can crit and then deal true damage again to all enemies. Okay. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that, yeah, so, okay, 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 okay. So I see why you're saying the crit damage, because the only damage of this ability that hits more than just the primary target, the AoE damage, it's all true damage. It, by definition, can't, it itself can't crit. Um, 
But how is the offense for the ability calculated, I guess? Because if the offense for that ability is calculated from the damage done to the target enemy, which can critically strike, you see where I'm going with that? Do uh, we know for certain that the the order of operations about how that's calculated? Uh, yeah, overcasted. Yeah, if you get eight point five percent secondary, it doesn't matter what the primary stat is. That's exactly what I'm saying, dude. I'm doing it because I can. Yeah, it's calculated best based on the special offense at the time. So going into the ability, you're saying before uh, there's a calculation about whether or not it critically strikes. The damage going into the attack is what is the basis for the true damage calculation. I see. Yeah, you say you can see it in .gg mechanics. It's not really intuitive to me reading some of those, dude. I, sometimes I'll read through a stack, you know, that nested stack of conditions, and I'm like, I, nah, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, crit damage changes damage, not offense. That makes sense. Yeah, because it, it's a question of throughput. But offense is offense. All right. Well, hey, fair enough. Completely fair. But you, you'll so you see what I'm what I'm going for. Um, in the in this particular case, when I've got these secondaries as banging as they are, I am I think strictly maximizing his damage by trying this, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, like I told you, if I wanted to, I could be like nineteen, almost nineteen three, and uh, yeah. This was, a, this was a fun project. I've been working on that for uh, about three weeks. About three weeks to, to find and then dial in the mods to do that. So, fun fun for me. All right, let's get back into it. Maybe we can even start an attack. All right, bottom front, Lord Vader, Maul, Piet, Royal, and Thrawn. Uh, with a Daukron, yeah. Saw, Chirrut, Bays, Kara, and SRP. Then Leia, R2, Drogon, um, Radis, and Jin, And then a Gas 501st with Jedi. All right, let's look at these crowns real quick and see what we're dealing with. All right, resistance and deflection. So anti-JML. Um, what else is going to be bad on this? I mean, I think if we do like BKM, we should be okay. Longest stream I've seen about one single mod. Love it. Hey, hey, man. Because, like, I, I, I had a position worth defending, but I didn't want to say people are wrong base. because I ran it with just pure offense for years. So, you know, you know what's up. Overcasted deep dives are fun. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think that's a worthy point that we explored there. Overcast, appreciate the hundred biddies by the way. Thank you, man. All right, um, yeah. So he's got the four hundred percent, and yeah, just looking the crap on your special damage team, whatever that happens to be. Surely nothing too out of the ordinary. Woo, that's super high deflection though, bro. I'm glad I'm not relying on any shit like that. Oop, that was not the button I wanted to click. All right. Uh, Leia, R2, Drogon. Turn meter, deflection and crit damage. This guy is long on this deflection, man. His set 13. I'm glad this guy's set 13 is about to expire. because That's some serious shit. Yeah, here's our man. Like, again, this guy is probably anticipating that particular shit man that is that is some nasty business i wonder you guys think risc still works here because i i don't want to use c but I think that would be fun. If Gar ISC can still do it, then I want to believe. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick restart. We're, we're ready to get into some fights. You failed Gar against similar, says Overcast. Mm. All right, here's what I'll say. I'll make the note to put it on airplane mode. 
We're going to try it because we have margin. We definitely have margin. And if I do fail it, I'll withdraw. We'll be okay. Probably use Sith Eternal or Seer. Something like that. Don't use a Doubt Cron like I did, though. Don't use doubt. So so let's think about that. Why are you saying don't use doubt? Because if we stop them from being able to gain bonus turn meter in particular, then we reduce our opportunity for Gar and ISC to get backslaps before gas stands up and ends us. Is that about right? Because fives oh don't use doubt. Because fives didn't taunt and then I triggered the savior. <laughs> Uh, don't keep C for BKM? Hmm, he is likely to set BKM. But I think I had a plan for this. Don't I write this stuff down so I don't have to remember everything? What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Could you sear against gas 50 first? I think that's also pretty much a slam dunk. Um, let's see how this goes. Hey, re regardless, Fabi, uh, I, I see you out there, by the way. Good to see you. Um, don't keep C for BKM. I think that's a fair idea, but that's why I'm saying I'd like to try and see if Gar ISC is still going to do it. So let's hope we've got the magic. Now, let me see about getting some music on for you guys. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Somewhere about here. Okay, where's that desktop volume? Am I blind? Can I not see? There it is. Okay. Death's Helm, let me see the demons, I mean the cats. Hey, Tass, what's going on, Death's Helm? Good to see you, man. All right, it's time to probably start fighting now. Ah, we begin. Nooch, raiding in uh, with a party of 19. What's going on, Nooch? Good to see you. How, how was the stream? How to wrap up for you? Give that shout out. Hopefully you guys hear the music, by the way. Is it too loud? It was like it might be just a little too much. Alright, there we go. Gar ISC. How would we choose to do this? If doubt doesn't matter, then protection or offense surely must. If we could look at offense, dark side, ooh yeah, with the defeated, hmm, so the, the health is less helpful than the offense, but the offense is banging, I mean, we, hmm, I don't think I'll use this elsewhere. And it isn't, yeah, it isn't like it would have a lot of other demand on it otherwise. What do you think, guys? I think, um... We do debuffs. You could go with a set 13 that does max health damage on debuffs, but we're not doing, like, a ton of debuffs. Time for TW livestream? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe you. What's up, Nooch? How did it go, man? How'd your stream go? Let's hear about it. And I'm gonna look this up real quick. Uh... Is this all correct? Holy crap. Wow. This does not look good. 32% win rate. High protection. 
percent. Okay. So I was thinking about going with tenacity. This is actually kind of advantageous, right? Um, we want them to brap as hard as possible. We also want them to not have doubt. Do we need this crop? Wait a minute, does this have? No, it's the 400%, so it's not the one I'm planning to use there. Opinionator, what's going on, man? You're literally showing up in time to see the first fight. Check gas potency. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm worried about it, but 196. 196 and 170. So Gar, I think ISC is perhaps at risk. But remember, the, the whole 74, yeah, he is at risk. Um, I mean, the whole, the whole premise here would be we brap him down and then everyone else is dead before he stands up. So what do y'all think? Only need plus 100 tenacity over gas? Yeah. Yeah, we're not quite that high though, I think. I don't think there's any other tenacity gains anywhere in the kit. So he's, only, he's a few percent short. He can be dazed. Just for that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go, guys. We've got the margin to try it, so let's go. It's been good to us in the past. We've we've failed it before, like once. Ooh, I love this track. All right, please don't kill me. Kill him. Yes, yes, that one. Yes, more of that, please. Yes, sit him down. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, good. Yes, kill him. Yes, rap. Barappa barappa. Yes. Ha ha ha. Fantastic. Uh, I don't really care. I don't think it matters. Right? Okay. Now, this part's gonna suck because it's like Echo's gonna probably live. Oh, this is how he. This must. This is must be how it happened to him. Wow! And we didn't. Yes, we resisted. Fantastic, guys. We got him on the ropes. Nothing was. I have you now. <laughs> ah, fantastic. I'm pretty sure that must be what he tried. No, no, he didn't. No, you wouldn't do that with cracks in there. No, he didn't do that to me. He did something else. Okay. Still, that was fun. <laughs> uh, we kept the faith. I really have to put ISC back on deck to get something. I don't know. I think it's probably just becoming less reliable in general because we're not going to have tenacity on a Datacron set. And it's so easy if you wanted to, to put enough potency on gas where it wouldn't matter. I've seen some people at the top do that, shift more potency onto their gas. Very smart. Um, otherwise, you're depending on some type of datacron or something to make sure you don't get easily taken advantage of. Clever, though. I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss that one. Who came up with the Gar ISC thing? That's just so smart. Alright, uh... Saw. We're gonna do the thing that we learned practicing against Zid. We're gonna do this empire thing this is so much fun uh if you saw me do this this felt like a slam dunk it's just i feel like uh if you're not quick about it maybe you can get yourself into trouble time wise fatal came up with it small wonder small wonder all right um it's an empire it's one of you isn't it yeah it's this one yeah yeah. Whenever Dark Side Allies inflict a debuff on an enemy, they deal damage to that enemy equal to 2% of the enemy's max health. And then you have this prod up and turn meter gain level 6. So this is really fun. Um, whenever an enemy loses turn meter, which, by the way, they have a chance of losing turn meter anytime they take damage um, when you're using Darth Vader lead. 
Empire Allies gain prod up. This is how you end the fight with a 66 as a four man. Whenever an ally loses prod up, they gain 10% turn meter. So this is how you keep laughing. Man. This is really fun. Does he have Jar Jar? Missed the beginning. Yes, he does. Why do you ask? I've got like Reva and Malgus for that. I heard about Reva and Malgus. Oh, are you saying uh, Jar Jar eats this up is what you're trying to say? What you're winding up to? Okay. But anyways, let's let's get moving with this one. It's just, I feel like it's a timeout risk, maybe. We just have to move. The downside is we do only have the one tank. If we, so Thrawn, Thrawn's great to handle one tank. I do feel like we want the ability to get at the chosen target. So maybe I treat this properly and bring Piet as well so that I have that AoE light side dispel because there's there's gonna be up to three taunters. So we're gonna end up locking them down. I think this is probably the smart way to handle this. Malgus was clean for you. Dig that. Dig that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard. I've heard it. Um, I've heard it handles it. I'll be interested in you guys' tips about that fight. Cause mm, what do I know? Right. Ooh, this is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Then we'll crush, and we'll basic all the way around. These guys cannot resist their rebels. They cannot resist the ability block. This is just, oh my god, that slap on the Chirrut. You saw that. Okay, and we finish him. Uh, go ahead and mark. Well, hmm. Why don't we take everything from you now? Uh, da, da, da. so you're like that. That means if I had to hit one of you, I'd prefer to lock you down so I'm not stuck on you. If I have to pound through one of you, let it be this one. Once up. Crush. Nice. That's fine. Tough when you need to save Malgus for Gungans. <sighs> yeah, that's why GG Stap, I think, has an increased roll on offense. Yeah, see, we just got these guys on Giga Lock. We're almost... Uh, I might give it a toss, because his dots are going to come back if we kill. <laughs> if if we kill... Please, please permit me to demonstrate. <laughs> Bye. Get the fuck out of my hand. That's right. Lose your turn meter. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Hi. I know you're trying to hide, but no, actually. Step on out. Into the light, my son. Yus. Yus. <laughs> okay. So probably the fifth character is a little excessive, but I, I like the control and... Uh, Getting caught by the unforeseen with an SRP involved is extremely embarrassing. Source, it's happened to me recently. So, yeah. Recently enough that I remember it. Alright. We took Piet as well for a clean 65. Could have been a 66, but that's okay. Alright, um, Leia. This is going to be GG step all day. Let me show you what these guys got going on. All right, so here's the Kron. Not a ton, a ton of health, right? And try as I might, every time I try and re-roll away this uh, crit chance, it is always going to something worse. So if I if I could have it my way, maybe like 100% health steal and a lot more health. That's the way I would slice it, this level 6, this level 9. That all said, let's uh, take a look at the team. JJ's Productions Twitch, raiding in with a party of 13. What's going on, man? How'd the round go? 
Pirinelli, good to see ya. Good to see ya. Aranya, good to see ya. Uh, and JJ, what's going on, man? All right, so yeah, GG is looking like this. <laughs> so big, slow, crit damage triangle. Lots of potency still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Stap, high health. He still has a protection circle this week, but I've made some adjustments for next week. Crit damage triangle, uh, over 100% potency, decent offense, blah, 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 blah. Really fast B1. Uh, shout out to Dagger. He was talking about how fast he managed to push his speed up on B1. Inspired me to give it a shot, and it just so happens, completely unrelated to a previous discussion, that I freed up this really fast offense primary offense set triangle, and uh, yeah, it inspired me to do some, some more adjustment. So here we are, high, decent potency, high offense, and yeah, really, really fast. Uh, Magna, just a bigger boy, very slow, decently resistant. How are the kitties today? Kitties are good. Um, Tinsel is sleeping over on mom's chair, and Riker is presumably sleeping in the closet uh, directly under directly to the side of or under the sweaters that I wear to work in the winter. That's about where he is. Ready for Mother's Day tomorrow. I am. Yes. It's going to be a good day. All right, B2. Da, 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 da. Yeah, lots of crit avoid Yeah, the crit avoidance arrow on him too. So anyway, that's what they're made of and let's give this a run. I don't know how much thinking is involved. I assume that we... Do we go right after Leia? Like, off rip? Is that kind of the thing? Is that what the kids are doing out in the streets? Ouch. Stop it. Oop. Stop it. Where's my sweep? Okay, so we really can't... Yeah, alright. Get big. Get swole. Strip. Yes. Um, you know what? Let's just go like that for now. <laughs> okay, who's looking damaged? I guess if anybody, you. Uh, this is fine. Go generate TM. I guess ideally we would stun, but if we if we don't stun her, but she's immune to stun, right? Yeah, that was stupid. That's right. I think she can't be stunned. So. No need to do that. Let's get crit damage down on that guy. He resisted it. Nice. I like when people resist my stuff. Because that means you won't resist it next time. You? Chop, chop. Okay. You're getting somewhere. Pinned. They're both already pinned. It's all good. Stun here to you, maybe? Nice. Welcome to the stun club. Keep hacking. Keep chopping. Ripping in a Terran. Okay. 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 This feels like it's almost audible, honestly. God, it's so gross. It'd be nice if they were able to... <laughs> no, it wouldn't be nice, actually, at all. I, I don't even want to jinx myself. It would not be nice. Somehow I don't think they'd be appreciative of me for this situation. Yeah, that's a big hit. That... <laughs> ah, good. 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 Misa like this. So yes, he's had a great stint on, um, yeah, it's going to be tough to try and stack up high enough. Yeah, yeah, you don't have enough prot, that's true. It's better to go after one of the tank characters. Um, I'm hitting you up for team. How do you want to try and stall this? I mean, you can just stay here for a moment. The idea would be to get a couple turns in to restore B2. I think we can get B2 back up to full, get the banner. I'm just trying to be, ooh, see if we got another GG turn. Those are not good. Gotta get a little healing. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out the way I want it to. GG's gonna still stimulate too much turn meter even off two characters being alive. Yeah. Alright, this is one of them take the money and run situations. So it's not perfect, but it'll be. God, 
about the health totals on these guys. I can't wait to see which, what's GG gonna hit for. Alright. Wop, 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 wop. I even missed it. I think the screen exploded. The game may have exploded. Okay. 62. Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable for them not really getting to participate in the fight at all. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Right, so this is supposed to be BKM. Um, I really don't know anything about fighting this with BKM. Gonna look it up real quick, see if there's any nuance I need to be aware of. Flip that on for you guys. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of a, sounds like a commercial music. Here's the one I really like. Let's see this one. Oh, wait. Whatever. This is a good one. Yeah, it's a 400 percent. Yeah, see, Fennec's uh, just a straight goose egg. 100 percent with all manner. Wow. Okay. Wow. Really? As little. As BKM. Wow. That is incredible to me. A hundred percent. Really? Wow. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I would be so mad. I would be so mad if that happened to me. Holy crap. I would be El Mato Mas <laughs> All right, uh, 62. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, gonna be with the in-laws tomorrow, and it'll be my birthday, too. You'll be Kevin Smith's favorite number 37, Pirinelli. Well, congratulations and happy birthday tomorrow. Talk to you later having lunch with the hubby and my uh, brother and sister-in-law. Take care. Have a good time. You can't lose with BKM, probably. I think this is actually impossible. Yeah, it makes sense because of the Datacron, right? I mean, basically everybody loses their protection and has it converted to health. And uh, it doesn't matter who BKM's protection strip would hit because nobody would have it. But because none of them do, whoever you basic that isn't Lord Vader himself just falls right over, right? So that sounds pretty fun. You know, it did kind of hiccup there for a minute, um, playing the GG fight. I'm going to restart real quick. I have finely attuned senses regarding blue stacks issues. <sighs> what do you think is worth risking? I guess we could go in with BKM full team. But it might only be two characters. It might, it's one of the most fun things in the game, to be honest, is Fabi. All right, we'll have, we'll have a look. Why, do you, why would you stop playing music? Why don't you play this one? That's a good track. Go three man max. All right, we'll do it. All right, let's see how this goes, guys. So yeah, this should just be whack-a-mole, I imagine. This. Just 
Okay. So, yeah, it's uh, kill whoever I want, I believe. Start with you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not very close, is it now? So we'll save the Dispel, we'll save the Mass Assist uh, for just after Crush, right? Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. And he's actually about to pop off then. Yeah. Okay. I dig uh, that particular move. Interesting choice. Um, can he dazed? I guess it's probably call her time. Yeah, and then the Dispel exposes him just in time to get whack a mold into Dispel here, right? Just like that. He's a very nice. <laughs> yeah, we can't gain the buff and all. That's fair. Hmm, <laughs> let's see. You got doubt, you got doubt. Um is there prop restoration here? Health. No. Might as well just basic then. Okay, see you. All right, 65, very good. Three man 65. It is unholy. All right, beautiful front wall, no drops. Let's see what we got in the back. All right, my man, my man, Afro Hondo, my man. Respect. I, I I get down with that. Track's kind of annoying. It's not really funky, is it? You're supposed to play me funk music. You have failed me. I demand. Different music. Good job. Okay, so he's got Java, so that's a DTMG knock out of the park. Clean restart here. TMG. Mm -hmm. It's this one. Okay, kick the shit out of them, boys. It is nice to take the TM off Java. Tough to argue with that. Um, never bad to reset your turn meter. So little good comes from you being able to do anything. Uh, you wouldn't be able to get called. We don't have staggers to trigger here. We can go with this for now. Yeah, that's pretty solid. 
Yeah, I think we're dead. Uh, yes, not having buffs means it's a great time to throw that at you. Okay, let's chill, let's chill. Everybody be cool. You there? Check out that news. Womp womp. Wow. Give me the death mark. Get him. Get him, boys. Okay, or just miss. Yeah, just, you know. The alternative is also reasonable. Just do fuck off. Yes, there he goes. Wow, that is just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Successful drawing DTMG up front, then. That's good. That was also one of the plays. All right, so he's doing Ray Swolo. Uh, Rex, Echo, RJT. I'm going to Bane set that. So the hand wave can be a little bit of a problem. We'll see. Choose the correct crown for once. Um, I have one that's really high health. Did I use that on defense? I guess I did. That's okay. This one will do. Wish it didn't have accuracy on it, but it should be fine. All right, let's go. I hope this won't be a problem. All right. CDR is good. Let's go for that. Stack health off rip. You have to do as many dispels as possible. Yeah, that's about as good as it's gonna get there. Nice, nice. She doesn't have to do it. Yep, you don't have anything. Yep, you don't have anything. Nice. Um, you're already low. What we would want to do, ideally, would be, I guess, hit her. Hit him, because this can kill him. And now he can't come back, because the basic on Bane always has permakill baked in one. Hey, stop that. Hey. Hey, stop it. Okay. Uh, if we do this cleanse, it's a massive offense ramp, so we don't do it. The instinct would be to do it, though. Is he going to go ahead of her? You're not going to kill, though. Who can we kill? We had to try and go for that. All right, now we should get a new guy. We can dispel all these buffs just ahead of our ulting so we don't take the enhanced damage from offense up. And smack. Okay. Okay. So it's not all bad. Giga stack. Wop, wop, wop. Hi. How are you? Hello there. Yeah. 65. Ah, that is just so easy. 
All right, Afra. I want to look up, I guess. Good, 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 good. Oh, if I minimize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smart. That's smart of me. Okay. Um, specify this set. Wow, not a lot of these, eh? Only one. Okay. Maybe we just remove this and have a look. Okay, so we know Slacker's a slam dunk, Malgus a slam dunk. Hmm, Star Killer. Yeah, I guess there's no doubt to impede you, so I guess that could work. All right, so we have a lot less to worry about in that sense, right? Bones, what's going on, Bones? Good to see you, man. CLS can work versus Afrohondo. Yeah, it looks like it was possible. We'll think about that later. We just wanted to make sure that we knew that we had the right options to deal with that. Has our opponent made any surprise moves down here? Nah, nothing new, nothing new. I, yeah, I think that goose is cooked. All right. Back from whence we came. Gungans. Okay, so let's talk about it, because we. I'll, I'll do some other fights here while we're just talking. But the, um... oh shit, yeah, Slacker was something I was gonna do. Here, right? Isn't that what I wrote down? I, I did say that, yeah. Okay. Um, I wonder how little you can get away with. Is the good one. Kudos to you on that, bud. Alright. Speak. ZMG slacker full bore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, 25% with that. That would be some wild shit, though, if we could get Night Sisters to work again. We have the luxury to throw it at it, I guess, for the memes, but yeah, see, full slacker gets you 60. That's likely what we're gonna do with slacker that. Seer, I guess, can also work with the banners of four. Yeah. Slacker Huck's boss. 100%. One fight, 62 banners. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm I don't think above the mind to mess with that. We'll just take in a full team. Uh, doubt would certainly be the best way to go because if and or when they do get turns, we'll slow them down. 400% needed on who? This is good for Inquisitors, which we do have. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. Quit avoidance is actually a little interesting. Even. Tass, did your opponent steal your Quasar? <laughs> You guys are so funny with that. Always stealing my fucking Quasar cam. Real goddamn comedians, the lot of 
Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so he gets bonus turn. So he'll expose himself off rip, but that but they'll still be behind Magna. So I have to deal with Magna. So it's stun, swipe, swipe, right? That's pretty much the way of it. Hello there. Now, look at you. Exposed. No. You get nothing. Now why are you faster? Played a little differently. Oh. Yeah. Mastery drain. We could remove the target lock with that, but we can get more old charge off this. Feels like probably the right thing. Can't kill the one you want, kill the one you want. Okay, this part is gonna be wild. Stay tuned! More next time! Get the call over here? No, no call. I'm sure we'll be fine. I probably could have played this somewhat differently if I had to guess. All right, my man. It's uh, it's our time to shine. You either do it all here or you do it none here. Swipe, swipe. Yep. 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 You were good friends. You did good things. I appreciate you. Wop, wop. All right. Just the two of you. Man, Faust is just holding the line. Faust is a beast. Look at that. Just doesn't give a crap. Actual honey badger shit. Why not pass back to Slacker and use a second stun on B2? Um, it depends on when you meant. Using the stun back when I stunned GG, I think is what you were talking about. I was thinking I might have been able to chip him off earlier in the fight. I wanted to see if I could. Uh, if I had to do it all again, the, the right tactical play was definitely to have stunned B2 on that second stun. I was considering it, but I, I thought I would be bold, daring, and it did not work. So, now we both know. 54. Hideous banners, but that's okay. did Hux go ahead? There's some turn meter gain he got that put him ahead of Officer. That should not be. I will investigate this matter. Alright, Kellerin, that's gonna be JML. We'll just get about our business with that. Who do I care about? I guess you. Yeah, for banner perfection. Why not, uh, off the jump, take the win, good match to test the aggressive approach. Oh, you meant off jump. Um, off jump, he wasn't available. The, so, so what happens is, is that Magna has everybody hidden under stealth, right, for one turn? But then Stap went and exposed himself, and it was still, it was still Magna 
and staff only that were stunnable at, on the first time I could use stun. So I thought you were talking about on Hux's first turn, he had the opportunity to trade back to Slacker and stun B2, but I did choose GG. And that was definitely the worst way to play it, but you know, I wanted to give it a go. All right, uh, Jedi wise, no, there's a protection cron. So this cron has no revive on it. It's also stacking level three, so like, the three and the six probably aren't gonna matter so much here for this one, but it is a monster for prot. And the Jedi Cow Cron that I have that I would otherwise use here had that right blend of offense, protection, and the 100% added offense uh, Jedi level six. That was a big deal. So that was a big deal for Gas, and Gas was one of our holds. So that's the reason I don't have the Jedi Cow Crown here. Alright, let's roll. Okay, we push to get the TM up so that we can go to JK and mark. Um, from this point of view, I guess this is the way I'd like to do it. We do basic into this. We push TM here. Um, we can swap. Man, it's really tempting to swap him because he moves around so fast. But I guess we could just do that with coins anyway. We, why, don't we, why don't we try that? Take the money and run. RSG just raided in with a party of 16. What's good, my man? Uh, hmm. Try that at reality. How did the stream go? How's it all going out there? This dangerous wide world. Um, you're the biggest jerk, so we'll take you next. Woohoo! Ha ha! That'll be enough out of you. Hmm, people who I don't want to be able to do stuff. Uh, no, you know what? Let's just stick to the script at the point. Brap. God, these, yeah, these, uh, yeah. It's not good. <laughs> How we doing? Um, might want to mine. Oh, we're doing this. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. We get the extra go off of you. Let's go ahead and pop this. Get our heal up. Roll it. Yeah, exactly. And now we kind of just lock you down for the rest of the match. Like so. Call you. Get the extra little bit of healing. Um, pop. And... Hmm. This fight is about to end, because, yeah, that's about to go down. Then this. Uh, then this. Yeah, looks all topped off to me. Trade to you. Pop you. Kill you. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 65. Okay, cat, I can hear you. All right, let me take a couple minutes break here because the cat is rattling in because it probably wants to thunder out the uh, the cat box, so that's going to be fun. Um, I'll be back in a minute, maybe with a, just a little bit of dash of bourbon to send us into the latter part of the afternoon. So see you all very, very shortly.
All right, all right, all right, we're coming back. Let's get a fresh session rolling here. Just got a fresh mug of coffee with a dash of, uh, we'll call it Kahlua. It's gonna achieve the purpose of Kahlua, but in reality, it's just vodka. Technique. That's a dust crusher. Huck's turn on the opening sequence slacker turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, no worries, dust crusher, glad to help. Reva loses reliability, uh, reliability versus Beck at the R8 plus level? No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I wanted to save Reva as one of the options for um, how I was going to go about um, Gungans here. Because I did Reva versus Beck last week. I think that was against Zid in the, in the Zid match. It was smooth, as I recall. I want to say it was something like a 63. So, definitely within the acceptable range. All right, um, Trench, what did I say it was going to do for you? I guess Seer could take that out. So let's deal with Gungans first. Coffee and vodka, I like your style. Hey, man, you know, when you're trying to, uh, trying to get up and get down, you know what I'm saying? All right. Um, what do you guys think is better? What, what, what does the community say? What, what do you guys like better so far as a counter? So I've heard about Reva and Malgus. I don't know anything about technique. I don't know anything about um, look out for, you know, nothing. So. Mm. Oh yeah, that's got, it's got some teeth on it. Mm. Well, let's have something definite mapped out for that Afra. That's what I think first. Let's get that up on screen. So Malgus looks like it's a solid dunk. Only one battle, what'd you guys do it with? Yeah, you did it with a doubt. Okay, okay. Deflection, deflection is actually not a bad idea. That's kind of smart. Special damage being both from Afra and from Hondo. It's not bad. He's gonna get kidnapped though, off rip, yeah? How did he lose this fight? He lost it because he went after Hondo? 43 seconds, something went catastrophically fucking wrong. All right, let's try CLS against the Afra. That makes sense, right? Um, we're not gonna need CLS elsewhere. We have all kinds of teams to punch up with, so I'm willing to take maybe some loss there. And if we're gonna win with this anywhere, we'll win with it here. I got a big old crit damage crown for just such an occasion. 65% uh, crit, uh, crit damage. So this should be enough. Um, you just gotta brap down Afra. How's he got her configured? Malga seems safer if the fight lasts longer, I think, for Jar Jar. That makes sense. I mean, Malgus is just, mm, 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 just, you know, sucking his fingers, thinking about having the opportunity to uh, fight somebody who wants to debuff him. So very high pro, this is well built. This is very well configured. Wow, yeah, it's pretty damn nice, honestly. Pretty damn nice. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we can do, nonetheless. If we die, we die. All right, you there. Okay, you chose to kidnap that one. I really wish you, wait, stop that, wait. Eight, okay, look, man, like you were supposed to go immediately next, so you're kind of fucking on my day here. All right, wop, wop. Uh, yeah, we gotta do it like this. Wop, wop. <laughs> Give me the dispel. Give it. Alright, what's gonna happen here? <sighs> what do we gotta do? We gotta call in on two of you. Because I can't dispel yet. 
and we might as well strengthen you. Yep, set him back. God! Yes! Now what's gonna happen now? There's no uh, Chewy to assist with here. The dispel's gonna help the rest of us do in anything though. So that's got something going for it. Afra opens. Afra returns her friends. Um, basic, obviously. Into basic. Call. Uh, Stan Stance doesn't call Chewy because Chewy is busy being dead at this point in time. We would want a middle first to be able to cycle the cooldown for it back around the fastest when we stand stance, so we'll take the opportunity to claim BT1. May as well sweep here. Um, okay, nice. Nice, we swept out IG for free. That's better than expected. Uh, yeah. We gotta clean you up. Real quick, like. Okay. Um, this is a cleanse, right? No, it's not a cleanse, so if I do it to our shocked boy over there, that's not good. Um, this can be evaded, I think. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. So I might as well just call straight away. So you're going to do some type of big hit. There's not a lot of profit in leaving you alive regardless. I should have hit CLS, that was dumb. Now he doesn't have three stacks because of a dodo. We'll use basic here, we'll save the cleanse for when he chooses to reset again. Um, basic to apply, no we don't get ten tenacity down from Chewy basic, not from Han, you get TMR from that. All right, might as well hit this. Ooh, this is great, there's, there's the tenacity down from CLS metal, 56. Okay, so we got it done on the cheek. That means we have maximum discretion. For dealing with this. So yeah, that was mildly terrifying. Needed every bit of that crit damage. Oh man, just wrapped up my Cortado. Maybe it's the time zone, but decent coffee deserves better than vodka. I don't even know what a Cortado is. But uh, this coffee is not what I would consider good coffee. It's okay coffee. It is fresh ground, um, but the good beans, I really like buying this. Uh, there's this bag of beans you can buy at Costco. It's like a, I wanna say it's two pound bag, something like that. It's the gray bag with the black leopard print on it. It's a medium roast Colombian uh, bean, just, mm. I know it's very basic, very common, but the flavor is just fantastic. Love it black. Love that stuff, Black. All right, so you said, uh, I think Overcast had said that the longer the fight goes, the better it would be for Malgus. So this team is set up for durability. I, I know a lot of folks are considering going with set 14 with high offense or maybe even high protection, trying that out. But this configuration is meant to endure. Um, does have that deflection, so our special attacks will be less likely to win. But I like the idea of Malgus here. Let's give it a go. I'm probably almost as into coffee as your palate is tuned to whiskey. Truthfully, I'm sure. I'm sure you probably have. I mean, I have a, a pretty decent coffee maker at home, but as far as like the coffee that I I drink. Like, I would buy fancier coffee for myself. My wife doesn't care, and my wife does the shopping. So sometimes I get the good stuff, and sometimes I get what I get. But love to hear what you think is good to have at home. You know what, I, I, I've been thinking about getting a, a French press again, just because I miss the texture of it. I usually use it only when I'm camping. I have a little French press for that, and I want to take it out of my camping kit. Um, we don't want that. We would want, what is it? We said deflection, was it? There's a lot of special damage. Crit avoidance. I don't know. Probably crit avoidance. There's a lot of critical striking going on. What you got? This is good. 23% and deflection. Sold! Sanity check. Okay. Something's wrong. 
Yeah. I would prefer to have Sith Marauder. Sith Marauder is considerably more durable than Sass in any context. Okay, um, let's talk kill order. So, Fast Malik perhaps strikes again. Um, I've been moving some mods around on Malgus, so it might be possible that Malik isn't faster than him, but he usually is. Espresso Martini, yeah, you know, I'll get those occasionally when I'm out at a restaurant, for sure. I enjoy that. But yeah, um, if we're faster, then we would dispel... I don't know. I guess you hit who you have to, right? Because you're not really going to be able to do Jar Jar. Is, 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 what, what's the deal? What's the deal? Like, you got to deal with Jar Jar last, right? Right? I guess you could drain him that lucky. Oh, do you just dunk him? Is that what you're able to do? Because he deaths, uh, death marks himself? Oh my god, wait a minute. Yeah, it can be evaded, so I guess there's no guarantee there. Space Jam dunk. Uh, I, I hear you, Dusk. Um, I don't know. Decent black coffee. Good vodka. Adds a little sweetness. I'm alright with it. I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I, I won't put that on you guys. I won't make you solve the puzzle for me. You had your chance to. I mean, I'm not going to say I didn't give you the opportunity. So you don't have the Giga Evasion right now, but I don't know how that's going to work. I can't hit anyone else even if I wanted to, right? Let's start the... Alright, so I think we at least get the health stack if we get nothing else. This feels like something worth saving for the moment. Boombadier does bad stuff. Tarples seems like a high priority kill. Reasonably fragile. Yes, debuff me. Mmm, I need it. Mmm. Okay, um... Go for the shield generator. Fair. Go ahead and fear here. Um, you still got the fur. Well, I mean, I guess we can just layer it out. Yeah, see, that was kind of silly because. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Alright, we'll just wait. We'll wait for this. Because I don't want to do that until this move. Yeah, that's okay. There's a little bit of healing action off of that. I don't know. We'll just let the fear do the turn expire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now we dispel this. Get back on target. Stay on target. Um, yes. Malgus's next turn, he'll shock off of that. Ooh. Ooh. Get your fears in now. Get your fears in. Get your fears in. Hey, hey, hey. Stop all that now. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to Giga Drain? You want to just Dispel? Probably just Dispel. You won't even gain any health off the Giga Drain right now. We can take the opportunity to taunt up off that. Get the shock and all that goodness out there. Uh, sure, why not? Let's get some healing worked into the mix. Gotta be kind of quick, he says. Mm, yeah, this is taking its time. And they sure are taking a lot of turns. Um, let's just stay on target. Seven, is it? Okay. Mmm, that marked is not very nice. Okay. Uh, I don't think this counts the way I want it to. We'll do it for the sake of the stack, though. Four. Uh... I mean, I guess this. It's fine. Um, okay. Mm, not my favorite. Alright, there we go. Three. Stop it. Uh, fear. Wow, this is taking a while. I'll say that. One. Two. 
Boy, these guys better go down quick. Dispel, almost screwed that up too. Basic, that's fine, gotta put in our time, put in our time. Last chance, man. All right, take them down, boys. So how about it? Okay, rip off that. Okay. Hmm. Kind of a waste. All right, that one's one down. Go after the big man here. That's my gut. Okay, I see what you're doing. Ooh, it's almost worth putting on auto at this point. Okay, that's good. That's good too. Okay. Put it on auto. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so this is uh we're this goes in the uh had him the whole time section kind of thing. Mildly terrifying for the time. All right, yeah. So I kind of bungled it for the first minute, and then I kind of started to minute, minute and a half, then started to kind of pull it together. Um, I guess we can just Malikos this. So that was 62. Let's make a note of that. That was a good one. Okay, so you have to be about your business. Good notes. But so all of the advantage of that team is is kept up in the in the shield generator. So yeah, if you're just uh, on it to get it down, I could have been a little bit better about it. But nice, Malgus was actually forgiving for that. Wow, I have so much left over to deal with the rest of this, don't I? I don't even think I have C. Wow. Wow. And I want to say that was 65, and then this one was 54, the slacker. I want to say the 54 was... Yeah, I want to say it was just boo-boo banners, something like that. All right, so we already cleared the back fully. What's, uh, what's dealer's choice? Let's have this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what? Us worry? Are you good? Uh, yes. Good. Yes, we're doing well. We Never any good. doubts is Sinister Lab. That's right. Baruch, 25 seconds left. Easy peasy. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow, we have a lot left, too. But mostly, you know, not top grade. Like, Star Killer isn't top grade anymore. So let's, let's add it in the fun order. You, you, and then Fulcrum. Have I shown you guys my Fulcrum? I am just so proud of her. She's a big one. So, decent size, fair speed, huge bitch. <laughs> Let's have a little fun. Uh, crit damage. I guess doubt will do. Yeah, that's the one reserved. We'll take the big one. Because we can. Stop it. Eight. Boy, they sure are taking a lot of turns. It's a shame. My team doesn't benefit from such things. Okay. Uh, can only target you, so... Sorry about this. Wop, wop, wop. Yeah. 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 Hmm. It's true, I actually could have done that like a smart person. Oh, you guys are so screwed now. You, you done, you done effed up A.A. Ron. 
Where's my big... Oh, 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 oh 417,000. That never gets old. That's some good stuff right there. All right. Uh, all right. We were very, very smooth, so the only way we suffer now is if we suffer on fleet. Seer. position this one random ass cell all right we were um smooth ish i don't think we dropped any attacks right so first of all let's pay out the people who had faith who believed that's right found the rocks indeed one or less gets it that cls came dangerously close though All right, let's talk about it. Okay. Pretty reasonable fare. So, I think he set this um, expecting me to keep Leviathan, because sometimes I've been keeping Leviathan, and that's probably the best threat profile to Leviathan. Fair enough. All right. Malevolence, we will assign Negotiator. Baratus. I guess Profundity. And then Leviathan, we will go ahead and do Chimera. All right, let's go ahead and restart real quick. And make ready, launch the ships. Hmm. I just noticed the music gave out. Yeah. Play the next track, will you? Yeah. Wow, we got 48 people here just chilling. Mother's Day. Mother's Day weekend. All right, let's do the hard fight first. See what we're up against. Man, I gotta bust out some TW after this. Then I feel like playing something else. I don't know. Might do some Overwatch, might do some Helldive or something. Get off my plane. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's the big sneak. Yeah, man's going for the big sneak. Alright. I see you. Alright, uh, what's the call, boys? Well, we can't do the basic to call even if we wanted to, so we might as well take the offense up and go giga. Um, we'll end up triggering. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Gotta hit who we can hit. Wow, that's great. We're coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yeah, buddy. That that next reinforcement's coming real quick like. Um guess it's you that we'd want to target. Brap. 
Nice. You got the first one. That's the second one. Even if we have the most forbidden of outcomes occur. <sighs> Please don't choose. Rat, my friend. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Who are you doing? Who, who are you doing? Who are you doing? Who are you taking? Alright, you took Scythe. Okay, well, you know what? It's it's not all bad. Alright, we'll top you off. Make sure you are extra, extra cool for all of this crap that is to come. And Brat. Alright. Attacks taken, but nonetheless, 70 banners, which is pretty good. This is easily a 60-something clear. Alright, um, in terms of things that can go wrong, chapter one. So he's got the... He's got the vulture thing, and I, I respect his gangster, because I run the same. Hmm. I guess we'll take you first. Second, third. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then just you? It's usually just you. I think that's how it is. Let's run it. You know, Dagger was telling me the other day that uh, if you put the Relic 9 onto your Sunfac, that, that works to really reduce the 75, 76 negotiator counter down to like a 74. I don't know what you guys think about that, but sounds interesting. All right, we don't want to bother with that. So basic here, as usual, we'll just stick to the script. If I sweep here, you become, uh, yeah, we can't mass in on assassin, on spy. We always want to do that mass in right there, so that's why we don't do the AoE, and then hopefully the chip off gets him. There it is. Now, we could AoE, but there's no reason to because Hyena isn't also target lock, so we wouldn't really even get bonus damage for our trouble. Ah, I guess I'll just stick to the script here. Now, ideally... AoE here. So we have some shit we need to survive for a moment. Um, the basic would give us the crit immunity on you, which would be kind of nice to have. Delay this one turn. Yeah. Okay. Incoming vulture. We're just waiting out the vulture. Ooh, geez. Dangerous times. Um, you're a much more threatening ship. Yes, good call. We got rid of you, basic, and then what happens? Yeah, then we take some lumps. Um, you can't gain buff immunity. You can't gain, yeah, alright, let's think about it. Well, you, this is just gonna miss regardless. Okay, we're saved by the skin of our ass. Right, we still have taunt, so we'll do the TM push. Um, it'd be great to take out this true vulture. Let's go for it. Almost. Okay, now you've lost your taunt, but we swept out the sides. Just in time for a negotiator to put up the goods? Just like so. There we go. Alright, so the banners aren't super the very best, but... Now we have to try and blitz this thing down before it gets to do another you know, bad time to us. Um, might as well hit like this. It's fine. Yep, 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 yep. Oh man, he is going to get another sweep, didn't he? Alright, so I feel like mass is the best way because our, our most fervent goal is for this bitch to die before he swept us again. Alright. 73. It'll do. Profundity should be extra smooth. Now, how can I screw this up for myself? 
That's the real question. How do you want to do it? How do you want to do it? I mean, I guess we could do. Um, do we expect that we need another tank? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think we are. I guess we could take Cassian as the first one for an AOE dispel and a nuke. No, I think that's all. I think that's all we'll need. All right, let's do it. Preferably, we go after Poe, but seeing as how Poe has Foresight, we'll just go ahead and go after the not Foresight character, take the money, and run. Uh, well, AoE, take off the Foresight, get our defense penetration up. Uh, you're not really my preferred target. What I'd like to do is push a bonus turn to you, sweet. Maybe get a lucky dispel basic off of Han. No such luck. Um, if we, so he, the the capital just did the cleanse, so we can go ahead and use the protection disruption attempt to burst down this ship. Okay, dig it. Basic, wrap off the protection, and then call the assault team. Wrap up, wrap. All right. Seventy six. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. Final score: eighteen twenty seven to fourteen twenty eight. Even if he does full clear Ray, I think we're safely, safely in the clear. Hey, big girl. How are you? Uh, so yeah, I went over my full defense at the start of the stream, if you guys want to hear my analysis of it, so you can check that out. No, baby girl, it's not time for Dad to play, like, different music on YouTube. Wait till Dad's off the stream, okay? Okay, sweet little girl. I know, but it's still Dad's stream. Hold on, I'm gonna show her real quickly. She wants to be a movie star. Look at Daddy's movie star child. Daddy's little movie star. Are you my movie star? Mm. 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 Sweet little one. All right, go on. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our attacks. Uh, Azurite bird, first time in the chat says, "Oh, yes, that is Daddy's precious baby, Sweetness, who turns six in October." My goodness. Yeah, yeah. I've been streaming definitely the majority of her life. All right, let's talk about our clear. Bottom front, so against Lord Vader, Maul, Piet, Thrawn, and Royal, we went in with BKM, Paz, and Grogu, and Underman for 65. No risk at all. Against uh, Saw, Chirrut, Baze, Kara, and SRP, we went in with Darth Vader, Lord Vader, Thrawn, Royal, and that was enough last time against Zid to four man for 66. But with him having the triple tank and the double reviving tanks there with uh, SRP and Kara, I thought maybe to also include Piet just to have that extra surety of a dispel. Um, so we went in with a full five, 65. It was still using the Empire Cron uh, Max. I Absolutely not. No fussing. Some kind of crab sound. What is this about? What's your problem? I didn't tease her about anything. Um, anyway, let's see. Against uh, Saw, we did the Darth Vader thing, and then against what? I'm, I am. This can't. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Got that figured out. That that baby has pipes. Let me tell you. That girl can. She's got strong lungs, motivating them vocal cords. All right. Against uh, Leia, we went in with GG Staff. I hadn't done this before. Pretty smooth. Um, what was it? Sixty-two. And then against his full gas 501st, I thought I might, I thought I could. Gar ISC, 
Uh, and we had just slightly too low potency on, or sorry, tenacity on um, ISC. So there was a risk he could have gotten dazed and that, that really damns your counter because he is the majority of the damage there. Um, but we didn't get dazed. So the two of them just brapped out gas for 67. We otherwise had Sith Eternal reserved for the purpose. Um, delighted to see that it still works though. All right, in the back, he set Afra BT1, Triple Zero, IG88, and Hondo. Um, we went in with full CLS, a 65% crit damage cron, and barely made it out with our lives. They annihilated uh, Chewie without him getting a single turn the entire match. So it was just the four man against a very dangerous team. Nonetheless, the crit damage prevailed, got him down 56 banners. Against Java, Chrysanthemum, Bausch, Embo, and Scando. Um, went in with DTMG, Gideon, Scout, Death, and Storm for 64 banners. And then against Ray, Swolo, uh, Bad Batch, Echo, Captain Rex, and RJT. Went in with Bane Set, 65. Top side. Uh, first time fighting Boss Nats went in with Malgus. So I've heard Malgus and I heard Reva uh, do this job and I reserved either, both, you know, whatever I needed to do. Um, you guys, I think it was overcasted in the chat that said over the course of the long fight, Malgus is better, which that tracks for me because he's able to top off as he's able to, you know, get debuffed and all that. So I tried it, and honestly, it was kind of a timeout risk. I, I didn't like it. Like, imagine this with the Bolkron from the next set. I don't think Malgus is a solution next time, if I'm being honest with you. Um, got it done with, what was it, 20-something seconds on the clock for 62 banners? So it worked, but eh. So maybe Reva is going to be more punchy for that. I mean, we are going to have it Inquisitor's Cron. They're going to be mean. They're going to be nasty. So that might be a ready answer. Against Keller and JKA Grandmaster Cam and Mace, we went in with JML, Jedi Cal, JKR, Hoda, and JKL. Uh, we were able to just mark JKA, take him out. We used Jedi Cal's Execute on Kellerin. Buttery smooth, 65. Against GG, B1, B2, Magna, and Stap. Went in with Slacker, full first order. Kind of messed about. Kind of just butchered it, if I'm being honest with you. Probably could have played it much cleaner. All that said, 54 banners, still a one-shot, and you can't take that away from me. All right, fleet-wise, it was his conventional fare. Um, Malevolence with Vulture off the bench. We went in with Negotiator, got that down for, what was it, 73, I want to say? Yeah, 73. Against Radis, we used Profundity. Uh, I took along Cal just to have an expeditious closeout, you know? Um, do the dispel, inflict defense down on an enemy, and then blitz him down with a third kind of a thing. Wasn't necessary because the fight was ended before the first re- Well, I could have called a reinforcement, but it was better the way I did it. It was a 76, could have been a 77. Nothing to worry about. Leviathan. Uh, went in with Chimera, and he surprised me with the one-two punch there. He had the Phantom 2 there, um, which can be dangerous if you're saving Leviathan to counter this. So, respect. Uh, nevertheless, Chimera got it done, 70 banners. So that's the story, guys. Been a while since we were able to put up a defense that actually stopped an opponent cold. So, hats off to Quasar. Good match. Um... I know you're uh, off and up here, so I'm sure I'll see you again. All right, one last round. Uh, I think it's Brilliant Zid and Sasha Isha duking it out here in this round two. Yeah, I want to say, oh shit, Sasha didn't even get to play. So that means that Zid has a bye versus to call. That means once more, it looks like I'm matching up against Zid for the grand final for the season. So it's an opportunity for me to settle the score. He and I have fought three times so far. Um, it's one and two for me right now. So I've got one, he's got two. We'll see if we can't even it up here, but that's uh, that's what we're looking at for tomorrow's stream. All right, guys. Um, if you're wanting to be in touch and find out when I'm gonna go live, uh, that's my Discord, so that's a place to find me. 
Naturally, if you want to catch previous episodes of this stream with chapters added for easy browsing, check out my YouTube. I've also got some GAC uh, content up there. Uh, you'll want to check out my Datacron set videos. Of relevance to you is the set 14 that we just wrapped up farming for last conquest. And I just recorded today the set 15 Datacron video, so look for that uh, coming out real soon. Uh, made that with Aesop Rock, so that's a good insight in on, onto your first week of Conquest coming up. Uh, if you want to support the stream and support what I'm doing, check out my Patreon. Let's go ahead and throw that up on screen. Do, 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 do. So check out patreon.com forward slash Tassinix for any upwardly mobile GAC player. Uh, there's something there of interest to you. Let's uh, plug for the patrons that make all of this possible. Here at the first tier, VIP access gets you early, uh, gets you your foot in the door to the TAS house, get dedicated uh, chats. That's usually where I'm lurking, so if you want to just pop in, ask random questions, that's where you would find me. You also get early access to my uh, Swagga exclusive content, including said Datacron set video. Uh, my patrons already have access to it. And as well as my GAC-focused podcast, Plotting and Scheming, uh, that I make with my buddies Dagger TJ and Sasha Isha. It's a week in review format. We cover um, the meta of the week, what worked for us uh, on defense, what held, what lessons we learned from the previous week, and anything else we think's worth you know passing on to you guys. So that's the, the big gain in joining the community there. Of course, we have to thank the VIP Axis folks, Andrew, White Wolf, Sam Vines, Jobin4527, Stark Strategy Gamer, Raze Malbus, Brock Thudsteel, Renee Bebe, Deadpool Cow28, Johnny B. Ottawa, JJ's Productions Twitch, Sweens14, and Darth QPPMG. It's always great. We've got a raid today from JJ. That was a you know, raid from a patron. That's awesome, man. All right, uh, of course, next up at VIP Access Plus, taking advantage of the bundle that gets you a discounted price for Omegabot Patreon. So you get to support your boy, get bundled to uh, Omegabot Patreon, and get that detailed scouting report like what I ran on Quasar at the start of the match. Shout out to Striker and Esh Satnakam jumping on board for that. Appreciate you guys. At VIP Access Premium, seizing upon the Double Bot Bundle, so you get a bundled access to Omega Bot Patreon, Hot Utils Patreon, and to me, all in one $15 bundle. Thank you to Quig, Ibanex, Sir Boss, and Trevor Boy Gaming for seizing on the value. Thank you, man. Um, Trevor, you asked in chat, how did it go? You'll watch the VOD, miss it. Oh, I won the match, man. I won it. So... Uh, we did well. We did really well. We one-shot the whole board. A couple rough clears, but nonetheless one-shots. Appreciate it. Appreciate the hell out of it. All right, and of course, at the top of the list, never to be forgotten, is Nomad's Reaper at Jester's Club Elite. This man drops um, literally hundreds of subs at a time when he pops in, like dozens, thousands of biddies. Like, it, he just goes crazy, crazy with it. So thank you so much for the extraordinarily generous support over the years, man. Last but never least, our special thanks go out to Yoda Force, one of my first supporters, uh, bought me the mic I'm speaking to you on. He's long since quit the game, but we wish him well on the other side. To Mrs. T, my wife, working hard in the background, keeping my curious and industrious daughter out of my hair while I attempt to win a phone video game. So thank you ever so much. To Dagger, TJ, and Sasha Isha, my co-hosts on Plotting and Scheming, couldn't do it without you guys. Appreciate the hell out of you, uh, out of the three of you for making the time in your very busy work and family schedules to produce our show. Means a lot to me, and uh, you know, the quality I hope speaks for itself. It really is so much better with you guys in it than just me monologuing. All right, let's head back on over to the main scene and get ready to rage all out. Who's up? Who's up for grabs? Who can we hook up? Um, we raided. Let's um, let's raid Stark. You know, we had a patron raid me. Let's raid out to a patron. Stark uh, is a good dude. Let's go ahead and see what he's up to. Do, do, do. Um, 
Where's the button? Stark. Strategy Gamer, there it is. Starting the raid. Okay guys, yeah, starting up the raid here. Um, look for my announcement on Discord tomorrow. Plan to go live tomorrow evening, somewhere between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern is what I'm guesstimating right now, but uh, should be a hell of a match, and hopefully I do a better job than the last one. So we'll see. Yeah, the last match against it. So until next time, it's been real, it's been awesome, it's been real awesome. Take care.